In this video, we'll connect an IFM laser sensor with AWS. And this time, we will work with brand new devices to prove that CloudTrail can handle them fully automatically. It's really plug and play. So we have here the IFM IO Link Master, we have the sensor and a bunch of cables, which we just yeah, unbox now and plug them all together. So let's speed this process up a little. And in the end, we have the laser sensor working. All I need to do now to configure both the IFM IO Link Master and the sensor is to plug it in. Back in the configuration screen of CloudTrail, we just select the right CloudTrail box. In this case, we called it CloudTrail Demo. Click on New Connection and we see here it automatically recognized the IFM IO Link Master as well as the Laser Distance Sensor, which I just select here and click on Next. The next step, I just tell the device how often to send the data. So let's just use 500 milliseconds in this case. And for this demo, I'll select AWS, give the device a quick name, like IFM Laser, click on Create. And that's it. This device has now been added to AWS and we get here a small instruction how to use the sensor on the AWS platform. So let's just copy the topic, jump into the AWS dashboard. And now we already see how the data is coming in here. So if we create some real data here with a laser distance sensor, we see back and the test screen of AWS, how the data is actually coming in. That was a very quick overview of how CloudTrail works. Thanks for watching.